Everyone has an insecurity, right? Life is filled with obstacles and challenges and life has never been a secure venture. Insecurities are inevitable, right? Everyone has something that they're not sure about, that they're convinced that, oh, maybe someone is way better than this at, you know, at this than I am, or maybe I'm super insufficient in this or that area, or maybe I look worse in this area than someone else does, or maybe I'm the absolute worst in a certain area, and you begin to down yourself, you begin to feel terrible because, oh, you're insecure. But the truth is, life has always been insecure. Life is an insecure venture, right? If you think about the word insecurity, it means to not be secure. Who is completely secure in life? No one, right? So the thing is, in life, with your insecurities, you have to turn those things and use it to make you courageous, right? Because courage isn't being not afraid. Courage is doing what you should do even when you are afraid, right? Courage combats insecurity. Everyone has something that they're insecure about. Right now, as I speak, I'm being, I'm conscious of how I talk, how I relay what I'm trying to say. That is something that I, I'm super conscious about, right? Hyper conscious about. And anxiety can start to creep in. And if I'm not careful, I become, I become insecure, right? I begin to breed a sense of insecurity in myself. But that's not serving the purpose. The video has to be made and what I have to say has to be said, right? So focusing on insecurities is a completely counterproductive activity. Everyone is insecure to some degree. Everyone is insecure. When you start to think like that, oh, he's a person, I'm a person. If I'm insecure, then maybe they're insecure too. And so when you start to think like that, you realize most people have something that they're not completely sure about something that they're not completely secure in, right? So when you begin to think like that, you start to understand, okay, so it's not such a big deal on my part. You stop internalizing all these anxiety, anxiety-filled and induced questions about yourself. You begin to stop questioning yourself and you begin doing, right? Because all insecurities do, if you give in to them, is to stop you and slow you down. Don't allow that to slow you down. There will always be something that you're insecure about. Are you gonna allow that to stop you? No, no, because what insecurity is really is fear that you might get judged, right? Because you're not really insecure about yourself. You know what I mean? You're insecure that someone might see the fault that you see and you blow up this huge image in your head that, oh my goodness, if they only knew that this was the thing, then they will treat me differently. And some people are cruel. That's how life is. Maybe it will happen but it doesn't mean you need to focus on it, right? Insecurities f insecurities serve as a road blockage to your progress, right? Don't give in to it. Do not give in to it. In 10 years, what you worry about right now will not matter. That is the fact. In 10 years, what you worry about right now will not matter. And that's what insecurity does. Insecurity amplifies the issues at hand right now, right? But in, sometimes in 10 minutes, it won't matter. You know what I mean? You forget about these things so quickly, but yet you allow them to stop you. Insecurities are a real thing. I'm not trying to downplay them. Sometimes it weighs heavily on our conscience, right? I have things that I'm still insecure about. So while I'm making this video, I'm talking to myself, but I am fighting every single day. It's a constant struggle to not allow these insecurities to take control of me. I have these insecurities. Insecurities don't have me. That sounds like a kind of cliche, but it's true, right? You have control over your mind, right? You have control over your mind. Insecurities only slow you down. But here's the catch. You can use insecurities for your benefit. Insecurities, as I said before, manifest as a fear or anxiety about certain issues. If you are fearful or anxious about certain issues, that's a good informant that you should attack those issues. So you are no longer afraid of them. Master those issues, right? If it's something as trivial as maybe the way you laugh, maybe acne on your face. The two approaches you can take. One, either you try to change it, which I don't know why you try to change your laugh, you know what I mean? Or you begin to accept it. You live with it. You understand that you aren't perfect and neither is anyone else. That's how life is. We're built, we're made in, an, this is an imperfect world and we are imperfect. People are imperfect, you know what I mean? And insecurities, insecurity when you give in to it, you're basically giving into a fallacy because what when you give into insecurity, you're basically saying that life should in one way or another be perfect. And that doesn't make any sense. Life will never ever be perfect in any scenario ever, right? So you live in this world of insecurity by going forward with courage and accepting that some things you cannot change and some things you can change. Focus on the things you can change and allow the things that you can't change to just be. You become way more secure when you understand those principles, right? When you are driving a car, the reason you feel secure in a car is that is because you trust the mechanics who built the car, you know, God, and 
you say that, okay, these are things that are, it's just like that. I can't do anything about it. And the car could crash, the car could malfunction, your brakes could go bad, but no, when you drive the car, you feel secure. Why? Because you know that there's some things you can't change and you're going to focus on the steering wheel because that is one thing you have control over. It's the same thing with life's. It's the same thing with life struggles, right? Insecurities come as opportunity sometimes. You can change some things and some things you can't change. If you, become a ma if you become a master driver, then you don't have to be afraid of, you know, the wheel, right? The car. Some people are scared of driving because they're scared of the things they can't change. Oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? No, you don't focus on that. You focus on what you can do. And that's, it's the same principle with insecurities. Instead of allowing insecurities to slow you down, allow them to speed you up. Let your insecurities serve as something that you can use to your advantage. Let insecurities serve as something that indicates to you that, hey, this needs to change. I need to change the way I think about this. I need to change my outlook on this, right? Because insecurities, if you use them wisely, can create for you a massive advantage in life. You can develop and grow as a person exponentially just by utilizing these negatives, right? Insecurities. And my final message to you is to not give in to these insecurities to the point of incapacitation, right? You are a wonderful person. You are filled with potential. You can do many great things. It would be a tragedy if you allowed some mental framework to stop you from getting ahead. Do not do it. View your insecurities differently and understand that they can be used for your advantage. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.